Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Friday the 8th of September. The local media headlines today. The town of Wadebridge is to spend more than £50,000 on closed circuit television cameras following the torture and killing of a hedgehog in a town park last week. Town councillors met last night and voted six to five to go ahead with the idea, despite warnings that it would be seen as demonising local youngsters. A majority of councillors said cuts in local policing made the measure essential. It seems to have been a bad week for vandalism in Cornwall as the topic makes the headlines in a number of local media. Cornwall Live catches up with the arson attack which damaged a Launceston playground. The subject also makes the front page of today's St Ives Times and Echo which reports that a local skate park is being used for drug taking. And the Falmouth Packet joins in with a story about how a 12 year old girl, who it says was very drunk, had to be rescued from a local beach. Meanwhile, in news which is likely to be of more interest to those old enough to vote, Cornwall Reports looks at plans to give more powers to community network panels. There are 19 of these panels in Cornwall and you're probably not alone if you've never heard of them. But as town and parish councils get more of a say in running local services, they potentially have the spending power to become a very significant player in local government. The Cornish Times says Plymouth Argyle mascot Pilgrim Pete is to raise money for the Children's Hospice Southwest by undertaking a sponsored walk. The Buden Stratton Post reports the triumph that was the Puffill Flower and Vegetable Show. Its sister paper in Camelford and Delibol reports the £2,250 raised at the St Breward Flower Festival. The Cornish and Devon Post tells us that more than £380 was raised for cats protection by a jumble sale in Launceston. And finally, back to St Ives, where the Times and Echo has pulled out all the stops to look ahead to the town's festival. And that's it for now. Thank you very much indeed for watching. If you've been watching on social media, do please like and share. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye bye.